Valentine is such a beautiful animal. Um, she has a bit of a story. She certainly does have a story. She looks very youthful. She's actually 12 years old. Um, as I said, we got her from the Carson shelter. And I told my wife, if we go to the shelter and get a mutt, it'll be a very strong animal, no health problem, she'll live forever. At about seven years of age, she de developed a lump on her right front leg, um, which I thought was a cyst. I took her to the, to, the, to, to the office, and I removed it, sent it for histopathology. It came back positive as a nerve sheath tumor. So I took her to an, a veterinary oncologist in Hermosa Beach who did radical surgical excision and also intraoperative radiation therapy. And when I went to pick Valentine up, uh, they said, no, no, we need to keep Valentine overnight for, for pain control. And I said, well, I'm a veterinarian and I have a briefcase full of drugs so I can take very good care of her. At that point, the owner and surgeon who had treated Valentine came out and explained to me that the intraoperative radiation therapy paradigm that she had used to eliminate Valentine's tumor, she actually developed in research dogs at a local university. And so um, I was very grateful that dogs had given to save my dog. And then later on, uh, Valentine has a weakness in that she's afraid of loud noises, which happens around the 4th of July or during thunderstorms. And during one thunderstorm, she jumped in bed with my wife and I. And as my wife tried to console Valentine, she detected some lumps on her abdomen. And so I took Valentine back to the office. I, I biopsied the lumps, and they came back positive uh, for mast cell cancer. So I contacted the same oncologist who had saved Valentine's at least her limb, if not her life, and she gave me all the information I needed to administer chemotherapy to Valentine so that we could cure her of the mast cell cancer. And she's been cancer-free now uh, for over three years. Fantastic.